Many people think of Target as a store comparable to Walmart or as some commercial entity that just sells these products that we use in our daily life. However, as a result from this project, I learned quite a bit more than just how we as ordinary people see the Target consumer industry. The reason I decided to volunteer with the Target organization is because I found that they, that, I'm sorry, that they do many different events to help different people in the community. Coming here by a show of hands knew that, that Target was involved in the community in other ways, not just by selling us stuff. Well, most of you didn't, and I was like that as well. Um, it was gratifying to know that Target actually cares about its community and doesn't just do stuff to make money off of us. Can anyone guess what kind of activities Target did to help the community? Yes, that's yes, fun. shop and find what they wanted to buy themselves for Christmas using money donated by Target. They received $100, and I'm sure we'd all love to just receive $100 that we can spend at the store. In addition, they also picked up trash at a local beach um, that could have been a danger to humans and, and, I'm sorry, that could have been a danger to not only humans but animals as well. Let's remember that this is their world too, and we should, we should keep it safe for them. During my project, I learned that there are other people in this world and not just me. I, in fact, I realized that I should be grateful for everything I have. This experience impacted my life and that I now do anything I can to help others. My mother has actually experienced that. Before, I used to be so self-centered, and I didn't really help anyone when I saw that they needed it. In fact, we were at Popeye's this one time, and this disabled man couldn't open a door. And my heart literally almost broke because he was struggling so much. So I got up and helped him, and all my mother said was, wow, that was really beautiful, and I just told her, you need service. <laughs> <laughs> also, I learned about my responsibilities as a human inhabitant in this world, who is sharing this world and its environment with other people and species. In the future, I hope to continue helping and making a difference in my community so that I can continue to grow with it as a person. During my research, I learned that a lot of people are struggling in poverty and are in need of help. However, what caught my attention was that less than 50% of Americans actually do something to help. That surprised me because I always see people trying to encourage other people to help out and volunteer. However, statistics show that not a lot of people are, and that's quite disappointing. I understand how we all have our own responsibilities in life, and but a life just live for ourselves and not a life worth living. As a result of this project, I grew and learned that it's not just about me, a teenager who's worried about her looks, her social life, her grades, everything, just like any other teacher, but how a life worth living is one we can give back to society. In conclusion, I would like to thank Ms. Bettis for establishing this whole project and for correcting most of my writings, which I knew were a lot of work because I would go way overboard with the characters and the spelling and everything and she would get mad at me because I wrote too much. I would also like to thank my mother for sometimes driving me and encouraging me and whenever I felt like I was too lazy to go to my hour, she'd tell me, get up, stop being lazy, let's go. And I'd also like to thank my friend Sabrina who told me about the Target organization and her mother who signed me up and helped me because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even know what I was going to do for my hour. And of course, I'd like to thank the Target organization for what, everything that they do for the community and for allowing me to help them and volunteer. Thank you. <laughs> now I'd like to show you my folder. So right here, I chose this picture for my title page because I thought that it showed a strong emotion on how our society and the community needs help. And the Target, as you know, I joined Target. shows what we did, and right here is the research paper that, I'm sh that other students showed you, but there was trouble for me because it was in Spanish, and that's not my first language. And right here we have photos, and right here I was with, I just finished doing an event with my friend Sabrina, and we gave out food to random citizens of our city, and over here at the same place we were giving out water bottles and gummies and Here we were packing food for the homeless that and we packed 
Haven't you ever been at a point in your life where you feel like you have nothing, where nothing's going your way, where you just feel like the whole world is going against you? Well, there are people in your community that go through that feeling every day. Me? It's sad, isn't it? Well, guess what? You can change that. You can make a difference and give a little sunshine in someone else's life. How, you might ask? Helping your community step by step and smile by smile. It doesn't even have to be through an organization. It could just be you doing something nice for someone else. Doing something small for someone else could actually be a big deal to them. That small little favor you did could have made a difference in that person's life unknowingly. Isn't it nice to know that you're capable of doing something like that? We all are. So why don't we take a stand and do something? We all need to do our part in helping each other. I've already started my part. I joined the Target Volunteer Corporation with my friends Sabrina and Robin on our mission to help. 